Chapter 11, Cost of Capital. Chapter 11, Outline. What is the cost of capital? Components and calculation of cost of capital. Optimal capital structure. Use of cost of capital. Capital asset pricing model, CAPM. Summary and conclusions. Learning objectives. Explain. Explain that the cost of capital represents the overall cost of financing to the firm. Define. Define the cost of capital as the discount rate normally used to analyze an investment. It is an evaluation tool. Construct. Construct the cost of capital based on the various valuation techniques from Chapter 10 as applied to bonds, preferred stocks, and common shares. Examine. Examine how a firm attempts to find a minimum cost of capital by varying the mix of its sources of financing. Apply. Apply the marginal cost of capital concept. The overall concept. Decisions made by the firm are aimed at increasing shareholder value. A composite of the firm various financing costs. Discount rate used to evaluate investments based on future cash flows. Minimal acceptable rate of return for an investment of the same risk as the firm. Cost of capital to analyze investment decisions eliminates inconsistency. Determination of the cost of capital. Each element in the capital structure, long-term debt, preferred stock, and common equity, has an explicit or opportunity cost associated with it. The firm assumes that the value of each capital structure component of the firm will be the same. Symbol K represents the cost in percent or opportunity cost for each component of the capital structure. Table 11-1, Cost of Capital, Baker Corporation. So we have debt, preferred stock, common equity, or retained earnings. We have the cost after tax. We have the weights that have to equal to 100%. And then we have the weighted cost, where you take the cost after tax and times that by the weights. Then you add up all the weighted costs, and that gives you your weighted average cost of capital. Cost of debt. Cost of new debt when issued. Measured by interest rate at which company raises new capital. Example, 1,000 bond paying 100 annual interest provides 10% yield. Calculation is more complex if bond is priced at discount or premium from par value. Cost of debt in marketplace. Firm computes yield on currently outstanding debt, not the old rate of debt when issued. The rate investors are demanding today. Cost of debt, calculator method example. Baker Corporation has existing bonds on the market, which pay 100 interest per year, have a 20 year life and a price of 940. So PV is 940, negative, future value is 1000, N is 20, And we don't know what the I is, which is the yield, so then we'll compute IY. And we'll also have to put N in for, oh, I already said that, N 20 years. And you'll get 10.74%. Cost of debt MS Excel method example. Baker Corporation has existing bonds on the market which pay 100 interest per year, have a 20 year life, and a price of 940. So you can again use the formula function in Excel and this time we're going to use the financial formulas but we're trying to find the rate. Cost of debt adjusting for tax costs. Adjusting yield for tax considerations. Yield to maturity indicates what firm must pay on before tax basis. Interest payment on debt is tax deductible. True cost less the stated cost. After tax cost of debt. 
KD equals Y, 1 minus T, where K is the cost of debt, Y is before tax yield, and T is corporate tax rate. Cost of debt adjusting for tax and flotation costs. Adjusting yield for flotation costs. Cost of issuing debt such as marketing costs, investment bankers fees, etc. Flotation costs are deducted from proceeds of sale. After tax cost of debt net of flotation costs is Y times 1 minus T divided by 1 minus F, where Y equals before tax yield, T corporate tax rate, F after tax flotation costs as percentage of proceeds. Cost of debt adjusting for tax and flotation costs example. Cost of debt for Baker Corporation. The firm has an existing cost of debt of 10.74%. Firm issues new debt with flotation costs of 3% of proceeds, tax rate of 39%. After tax cost of debt net of flotation costs. KD equals Y times 1 minus T divided by 1 minus F equals 6.75%. Preferred stock. Constant annual payment with no maturity date for principal payment. Has no maturity date. Dividends are not tax deductible. Proceeds to firm are equal to selling price and market minus flotation cost. Cost of preferred stock. Represents rate of return to preferred stockholders and annual cost to corporation for preferred stock issue. KP equals D divided by P minus F, where K equals cost of preferred stock, D equals annual dividend, P equals price of preferred stock, F equals flotation costs per share. Cost of preferred stock example. Assume Baker Corporation's preferred shares pay an annual dividend of $10.50. The preferred stock is issued at a price of $100 with flotation costs of $4 per share. The cost of preferred stock is KP equals D divided by P minus F, or 10.94%. Valuation of common equity. Recall from Chapter 10 the stock valuation models discussed. Investors place value on common shares based on the firm's ability to generate cash flow or earnings. Therefore, a share of common stock can be valued based on the present value of A, expected stream of future dividends, the dividend valuation model, or B, expected future earnings, the price earnings model. Cost of common equity, dividend valuation model. Recall the common equity dividend valuation model from Chapter 10. P equals D divided by K minus G. We rearrange the above formula and solve for K. D divided by P plus G, where P equals price of the stock today, D equals dividend at the end of the year, K equals required rate of return, G equals constant growth rate in dividends. Cost of common equity dividend, dividend valuation model example. Baker Corporation expects to pay a dividend of $2. The current stock price is 40, and the dividends and earnings are expected to grow at a constant rate of 7%. The cost of common equity is D divided by P plus G, 12%. Cost of retained earnings. Retained earnings belong to common shareholders and represent a source of equity capital supplied by current shareholders. There is an opportunity cost as the funds could be paid out as dividends. Common equity in the form retained earnings is equal to the rate of return on the firm's common stock. K equals D divided by P plus G. Cost of new common stock. The cost of new common stock is higher 
than retained earnings because of flotation costs. The cost of new common stock, K, equals D divided by P plus G divided by PO divided by PN, or this is the formula I like to use. K equals D divided by P plus G divided by 1 minus F. K equals cost of new common stock. D equals dividend at the end of the first year. G equals constant growth rate. P equals price of the stock today. P equals price of the new stock. And F equals flotation costs as percentage of proceeds. Cost of new common stock example. Assume Baker Corporation issues new common stock at a price of 36. The current price of existing stock is $40 and pays a dividend of $2 per share. The company is growing at a rate of 7%. KN equals D divided by P plus G divided by 1 minus F, 13.33%. Capital asset pricing model for the required return on common stock. Recall from Chapter 10 the stock valuation models discussed. A. Expected stream of future dividends, dividend valuation model. B. Expected future earnings, price earnings model. The capital asset pricing model, CAPM, is KJ equals RF plus beta KM minus RF. KJ equals required return on common stock. RF equals risk-free rate of return, usually the current rate on treasury bill securities. B equals beta, beta coefficient, measures the historical volatility of an individual stock's return relative to a stock market index. KM equals return expected in the market as measured by an approximate index. CAPM for the required return on common stock example. Baker Corporation would like to value the rate of return required by their common shareholders. The risk-free rate is 9%, the market is expected to earn 11%, and the company has a beta of 1.5. We calculate the required return on common stock as KJ equals RF plus beta times KM minus RF. 12%. CAPM for the required return on common stock after flotation costs. We can adjust the cost of common stock under CAPM for flotation costs using either formula. The formula I like is KJN equals KJ divided by 1 minus F. KJN equals required return on new common stock. PO equals price of existing common stock, PN equals price of new common stock, F equals flotation costs as percentage of proceeds. CAPM for the required return on common stock after flotation costs example. Baker Corporation would like to value the rate of return required by their common shareholders. Baker issues new common stock at a price of $36 with flotation costs of 10%. Their existing common stock is trading at $40 and their cost of stock is 12%. We calculate the cost of new stock. KJN equals KJ divided by 1 minus F equals 13.33%. Optimum capital structure weighting costs. The optimum best situation is associated with the minimum overall cost of capital. Costs of individual components of financing weighted by their proportions, weights, in the firm's capital structure produce the weighted average cost of capital, WAC. Optimum capital structure means the lowest WAC, usually occurs with 40 to 70% debt in a firm's capital structure, based upon the market value rather than the book value of the firm's debt and equity. 
figure 11-1, cost of capital curve. It's U-shaped. Table 11-3, debt total to total assets early 2020. Selected companies, their ticker symbol, and their debt divided by their assets. Market value weightings. To calculate the cost of capital, we weigh each component of the capital structure based on how the corporation will raise funds in the future. The current capital structure should be based on market value of debt and equity. Present value models are employed to revalue debt, preferred shares, and common equity of the firm. Calculating market value weightings example. Baker Corporation has bonds with a face value of 2 million book value that pays a coupon rate of 16% over 20 years and yields 12%. First, we can calculate total interest payments of 320,000. Calculate the market value of this debt in your financial calculator. FB equals 2 million, N equals 20, payment equals 320, IY equals 12, compute PV equals 2597555. Calculating market value weightings example part two, market value of preferreds. Baker Corporation has a preferred share with bond value of, with sorry, book value of 1 million that pay a dividend of 7% and are yielding 10%. First, we calculate total dividend payments. 1 million times 7% equals 70,000. Calculate the market value of these preferred shares. P equals D divided by K, 70,000 divided by 0.1 equals 700,000. Calculating market value weightings example part three. Market value of retained earnings and common stock. Common stock and retained earnings are combined into equity. The market value of the shares at $8 per share represents both equity accounts. PE equals market price times shares outstanding. PE equals $8 per share times 1 million shares equals 8 million. Calculating market value weightings for Baker Corporation Part 4. Based on the previous information for Baker Corporation, we can calculate the following market value weightings. Debt, preferreds, common stock, retained earnings total, book value weightings, 100%, market value, and then you can come up with your market value weightings, 0 0.23, 0 0.06, 0 0.71, and 1. Capital acquisition and investment decision making. The firm wishes to finance at the lowest possible cost, sell debt at low interest rates, and issue common stock when share prices are high. The task for the firm is to find a balance between debt and equity that achieves its minimum cost of capital. In reality, firms operate within a relevant range of debt to equity before capital increases in overall cost because of higher risk. Figure 11-2, cost of capital over time. Debt to equity mix. Cost of capital in the capital budgeting decision. The cost of capital, WAC, represents the overall rate of return required by a firm's investors, bondholders, preferred shareholders, and common shareholders. Investments must be judged against this benchmark regardless of the source of funds the firm is using for a particular investment. If investments are matched with their financing, investments with lower return may be accepted while those with higher return would be rejected. Table 11-4, Investment Projects Available to the Baker Corporation. Projects A through H, Expected Returns, Cost in Millions. Figure 11-3, cost of capital and investment projects for the Baker Corporation. And it's a bar graph. Weighted average cost of capital, 
the amount of capital in millions and percentage. The marginal cost of capital, MCC. The marginal cost of capital measures a firm's overall cost of receiving extra dollar from investors. Market may demand higher cost of capital for each new trench of funds if large amount of financing required. Equity ownership capital represented by retained earnings. Retained earnings cannot grow indefinitely as firms capital must expand. Retained earnings limited to past and present earnings that can be redeployed into investments. Recall Table 11-1 Cost of Capital Baker Corporation, the weighted average cost of capital 10.26 percentage. The marginal cost of capital example, capital supported by common equity. Baker Corporation has $23.4 million of retained earnings available for investment, which represents 60% of the capital structure. After this point, the cost of common equity, KN, increases to 13.33%. We can calculate the adequate retained earnings to support capital structure. X equals retained earnings divided by percentage of equity in the capital structure where X equals size of capital structure that retained earnings will support, Baker Corporation can support the following capital before issuing new financing. X equals 23400000 divided by 0 0.6 equals 39 million. The marginal cost of capital example part two. Capital supported by debt. Let's say that the cost of debt for Baker Corporation is 6.55% on the first 15 million of debt. After that, the cost of debt rises to 7.9%. Z equals amount of lower cost debt divided by percentage of debt in the capital structure, where Z equals size of capital structure that debt will support. Baker Corporation can support the following capital before issuing new debt financing. Z equals 15 million divided by 0.3 equals 50 million. Table 11-5, cost of capital for different amounts of financing. First 39 million, 10.26 percentage, percentage, weighted average cost of capital, and the next 11 million, 11.06 percent, weighted average cost of capital. 11-6, cost of capital for increasing amounts of financing, over 50 million, 11.46 percentage, weighted average cost of capital. The marginal cost of capital, example part three, changes in the marginal cost of capital. The amount of financing and the marginal cost of capital, MCC. Figure 11-4, Marginal Cost of Capital and Baker Corporation Investment Alternatives, a bar graph showing percentage and amounts of capital in millions. Table 11-7, Cost of Components in the Capital Structure Baker Corporation. The cost of debt is 6.55%. The cost of preferred stock is 10.94%. The cost of common equity in retained earnings is 12%. And the cost of new common stock is 13.33%. Summary and conclusions. The cost of capital is calculated as the weighted average costs from various sources of financing, WAC. The cost of capital is a critical component of the valuation of the firm and its prospects. The weightings are based on the market value of the exist existing capital structure. The weights for each element of the capital structure should be chosen with a view to minimize the overall cost of capital. Summary and Conclusions Part 2 Firms choose the weights to minimize weighted average cost of capital. 
The cost of capital is used as an evaluation tool to analyze investment proposals. The marginal cost of capital is important in considering what happens to a firm's cost of capital as it tries to finance large requirements for funds. And we won't be responsible for Appendix 11A, Cost of Capital and the Capital Asset Pricing Model. We also won't be responsible for Appendix 11B. And that's the end of our slideshow.